Hi everyone, welcome to the family table. My name is Kathy Melanson and I am so excited to let you know we are going into season three. Believe it or not, it's been three years since we started doing the family table. What we're gonna do this year to kind of liven things up, we're gonna go around the world. We're gonna have different recipes from different nationalities and other cultures and different things to kind of like spice up your life. It's been three years, we're gonna do something different and we're gonna go on board now that we're moving forward. So let me start season three. Welcome back on the family table. This is Gloria Cabral. She is coordinator of the culinary department at Bristol Community College. She came back to show us sugar eggs. Now this is the perfect time for them. However, there's different things that can be used throughout the year if you want to, you know, decorate a Anything. We can Anything. use cookies, what, whatever, right? Right. And this is, you know, it's called panoramic sugar eggs, but it's actually an old form of what they call sugar casting. I can, if I'm creating a, a, some type of sculpture, I can do this in a different type of mold, make a vase that would put gum paste flowers in for a wedding cake. So it's a, it's a technique. But we use it at Easter time. And the reason I tell everybody again, because we're all about family. And my right. mother being from an, you know, another country, she came from Cuba, she had to learn everything. So she took Wilton classes and she'd learned how to make these sugar eggs. So when the family would get together at Easter, she'd have a whole table full. So all my cousins, everybody had, she'd make chocolate, she'd make sugar. So mm -hmm. my mother's been passed for a while, but this always reminds me of bringing it in. And I teach this every year and it's bringing my mother back into she my did. program. So Royal icing is also the big thing. You buy these fancy cookies. Yes. I mean, they go up to like $12 a cookie because of decoration. So this is on the same idea. We decorate with royal icing. So what I did, instead of cookies, we use, you know what Necco wafers are? Yep. The dough is called pastillage. So I cut them out to be like cookies. So the, this way the kids could practice on them. Oh, that's very and they nice. And they won't go bad, you know. I had a cookie that was really nice and I didn't want to get rid of it for like six years. <sighs> I had to finally get Lasses rid of it. Lasses for Ever. It's just sugar, just different types of sugar. And it gave the students. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, it gives the students of different, you know, you have a thicker royal icing, you a thinner for flooding. There's different ways that you can do it. You want to be able to pipe them. So what we do is we just start practicing piping because that's a technique that people have lost over the years. You know, production yes. just does it and machines do it. Right. So we start piping out different things. So like I said, this can be done on a cookie, Christmas. Anytime. Oh, yeah. Flood your cookies, go back and decorate them. So we just sugar cook them. cookies. Everybody's into the sugar cookies, especially yes. at Christmas. And it's right? and it's sugar. Oh, too much sugar oh. for me. So to start off with this, do you ever make mud pies as kids? Absolutely. So there's different ways of doing it. And it's just take plate basic sand, we call it sand, basic sugar, and you can add color your water. I'm just doing white for now because it's a okay. little bit easier to see that. I can add food coloring in here, but I don't feel like getting my hands, hands all in color. Well, I wear gloves, but I have my <laughs> students will sit there and they come back with blue hands and I'm like, yeah, did you think that one out? So, but I'm making it to the consistency. It takes a while to come off, right? Yeah, do the dishes. It'll take care of that. <laughs> do the dishes. That's your job now. You didn't think, but mm. I'm making it to the consistency of a mud pie right. or uh, sand castles. And what I want to do is just get the little bit of water, or like it says, colored water, as you see, we yeah. have different ones. And you're going to find a mold. So there are different molds you can get. Plastic, they have flat bottoms, round bottoms. My mother even used to do that, and she'd take the, she'd put flavoring in here. Ooh. And she'd put them in like little flowers, so you could actually put, instead of sugar, you give them a sugar flower with some kind of flavoring. So she used to, you know, you had to come over, and that was different. Years ago, yeah. people used to come and socialize and have card oh, yeah. cards. Back and forth. I right. remember like, especially Christmas. <sighs> You yeah, know, Christmas. Come in and you'd be up all night because you never knew when a family member was going to just come in. Come on caroling. In. We used to do caroling going yes. from neighbor. You just you just had to watch out. The last house had to be the closest to your house because usually a little shot sing. Yeah. Shot sing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the time they got to the home, they yeah they were. Yeah, you should have been walking. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's what we. That's how it always used to end up. Would be walking from my grandfather's last house. So I made it the consistency, and what I'm doing is I'm just packing it nice and tight in here. If I make bigger eggs, I would use a spatula, like this size or bigger, to flip this over. But I'm just going to put it on top of here. And I did it on the green so you can see that. So what you have to decide is, let's put these over I'll there. I'll just take that. Okay. 
What you have to decide is where do you want a hole to be, you know, in the front, the back. If it's going to lay down, it can be stand up. And we have, you know, a variety of different areas. So in this one here, I'm going to leave this as the bottom, but I'm going to cut the top off. So I'm just going to take a little bit at a time. And I go inward. So this way it doesn't break on there. And this, it takes, it's it'll, in about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on where you live. And I'm saying that if I'm in right. Arizona, it's dry. Yep. And I can whip these out in no time. If I'm in Florida, mm, a little bit longer than no time. So I want to get to, you know, I try to get as much as I can out of the way because I want to be able to see through it. And that's the whole fun of these. Okay. Once I do that, I got to create an edge. And what that's going to do is help because this is very soft. It can break. And I'll scoop out some of the middle because later on I'll come back and finish cleaning that when it gets harder around the edges. If you forget about it, which just happens many times with these, you know, the kids will say, okay, I cleaned it out. And then you go back the next day and it's a brick that they have to redo again because you have to clean yeah. it out. It's not like you can go get sandpaper and... Thin no, this will this will be like another cement. Remember, sugar is like I said, sugar is a liquid, but it also yeah. will harden like cement. So the reason I did this is so this stays moist in the middle. This one has been sitting for a while, and I want this as my back, so I have to carefully be able to pick it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> and this is where you'll see a lot of tears a lot of times because they'll be holding it in their hands. Oh, and then it would break. Then it would break, and oh. then I said, start all over again. So you have it's just getting used to feeling how thick or thin it is. These go these eggs go back over a hundred years. Oh my years. god. I yeah, Victorian I remember times. them when I was a kid. And if you got a sugar egg like that, it was like golden. Like look how beautiful it is. Yeah. And I don't recall ever eating one. No, you don't. My I have an instructor who brought me hers when she was a student. It's fifteen years old. She has she says I was gonna bring it today but I didn't wanna break oh, it. Oh yeah. That would have been sad. Yeah, she's like, well, you know what? It's been sitting around and she's trying to keep it away from her dogs eating it. Because <laughs> they don't care. Right. They don't care if it's 15 years old or 15 minutes. So I try to clean yeah. enough of it to give it just like. And you can see, you can, I can see her fingers. Yeah, you can right see behind it. it. That's when yep. you know it's done correctly. I, usually the yep. kids, I make it a little thicker because they're not used to feeling it. Because as simple as this is, I can just go like this yep. and it'll crush. So now I'll let that dry that way, and we can come back to that to put it together. Just want to wipe up my hands a little bit. Yeah, a little sugary. Because sugar will be everywhere. You'll be your animal's best friend. They will oh, be loving yeah. you. Well, usually at my, my show's over and everybody leaves, and I let Duncan come in and come in. Yep. clean house. Yeah, I don't have to sweep the floor. So what we, next thing to do, like I said, the glue of everything in sugar and baking is royal icing. And yep. royal icing is egg whites and confectionery sugar. Yep. So, but you can play around with it. We use powdered egg whites. They call it uh, meringue powder, which yep. is, it's more stable. I can leave this, I can use this for, you know, yeah. maybe a week or two. It doesn't really matter, not compared to regular egg whites. If I'm in school and we're doing a mass production, it's regular egg whites because we just have a lot of them. We whip it up and they can go right from there. So all I'm going to do is in, within it, you'll see this right on the package of the, you know, I hate to say the product, but it's Wilton products. It's a pound of confectionery sugar, three tablespoons of the egg white powder. I'm just going to just mix that up a little bit. <coughs> yeah, meringue powder and is a great, um, great thing to use. I've um, used it in... Um, even in a little bit of frosting, if you want it to be more stable. Just a little stable, bit, yeah, a little stiffer. A little bit of that, and you can have your stabilized frosting. All I'm going to do is let that whip for about five minutes, because I want it to be nice and fluffy. Right. So It'd be easier to pipe. Once it comes together, which is nice about this, this actually has a recipe in the package, and you can kind of play around with it. If I want it thinner to flood, all I have to do is add a little bit more water yep. to it. I can flavor it, because sometimes I'll make cookies. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's a little bit thick, and I'll just add some water as I'm going. And it's all, again, baking, yeah. cooking. It's all about smell, sight. Yep. This is all about sight, so you really have to just watch just what you do. Scrape it down a little bit. Because you can always add. You cannot subtract. We just have to remember that. 
when we make it, we make it in 20 quart mixers because all these kids, we do a lot with gingerbread houses at Christmas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We've made gingerbread houses that will fit on this table. I do mansions, the match the mansions in Newport. Yep. So, I mean, I go through containers. A ton. And we'll let that whip for a minute. We're back and um, we have our royal icing mixed over there. We just wanted to get all our stuff ready for everyone. If you look at it, it's pretty thick. The joke is you can put this over your head. If it's over your head and it doesn't fall down, Found. you are good to go. So I won't do that. That's yes. Right. <laughs> and if it does fall, you have to start over again. Yeah. Because you won't be getting it out of your head. So, but it's good because the egg white is good for your head. That's it. Yeah. Along with argan oil and the, and the goats in the trees. So. There we go. <laughs> so I'm just going to make in a bag and put some in there. And this is how we're going to glue everything together. It looks like Elmer's glue, doesn't it? Just tastes better. What I always tell people is you can fill a bag up all the way up, but if you want to be crippled, you use that bag. Yeah. So I fill it up and I go to just about what my hand is. Oh, I'll squeeze yeah. it and I'll turn yeah. it so it's just as little pressure as possible so I will not be um, having oh, carpal yeah. tunnel. Yep. And that's been a major thing. I used to work with a guy who used to use a big bag like this and he'd be yep. like, Ugh. It'd be all yeah. twisted and you had to put your whole body in it. Yeah, like why? Why? Well, to well, show you what? Yeah. I did that the last time when I was making my, um, what was I making? Don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's sad. Nah. But I, I like to flavor, like I said, sometimes I'll flavor these if I'm making cookies. Oh, and, yeah. Because I like hot pepper, so I put hot pepper oh. in a lot of my food. Hot pepper cookies. Yeah, so when you do a nice chocolate cookie with a little red pepper on there, it is really delicious. So with a little bit more, I know to need, need colors. So I'm just going to add a little bit of green so we'll have some leaves. So I'll put this back on the machine. And you can make as many colors. Um, when I used to do birthday cakes, I would take my frosting and I would do a bunch of colors, get it all mixed up, get the frosting all ready, and then maybe the next day I would actually actually frost the cake because after you mix all that frosting up, you know. I usually try to do like you see many different colors because I think everything should look like a picture. Oh yeah, you know, cakes, decorating. A lot of times they'll say, "Well, it's not mixed in; it's variegated." Well, that's fine. I like the variegated look because plants aren't just green. There's, you know, different yeah. colors of green. No, and absolutely. Else. And then they tell you, um, you, you can have that nice um, swirl in it if you don't mix it all the way. Yeah, because it makes it more fun. I don't, I don't like bland, and I have to constantly change. Right. Whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm teaching, I'm oh, thank always. You. As the kids would do. Yeah, no, I'm all good with that too. <laughs> And yeah, it's sugar. Yeah. Well, that's the fun part of it. You don't realize is. how sugar is everywhere. You know, what you can use sugar for, decorating, eating. Uh, a lot of people will... Did you know regular sugar is not vegan? People say I'm, I'm a vegetarian because it's processed through bone meal. Oh, so I didn't know that. You, so if you have to work with vegan food, you have to buy special sugar. I learned that one the hard way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I didn't know that. So, but I have a little bit left over here, and if I wanted to flood all I would just do, I'm just going to put a couple drops of water so you can see that. If I, had, I should have put it in a smaller bowl. But if you see, it's just going to make it a little bit softer, so when it actually, when I pipe something in, it will fill it all in. But with what we're going to do, we're not going to worry about that. If I was making cookies, I would have them in little containers, big containers of all this. So I'm looking at... Oh. Well, let me say, if you were making cookies, you would do the outline first, right? Yep. And then fill it in. Fill it in and let it get hard. Now, it needs at least an hour to two hours to get hard, or else it's going to break. So that way I would say, all right, you know, because then you don't want it to look like it's all a mess. Okay. Uh, so, and then you can create your colors. If you put them in wet on wet, they'll blend in. If you put, let it dry and you put it on top, you'll see you can have things come up Different on colors. that. Okay. So here, I'll give you this one and we'll take this one and we'll share the green bag because we okay. don't need that much of that. So we put the coupler in here and then I, I cut the bottom. And the reason is I can change my tips. It's already, oh yeah. I don't need 15 bags. I need one bag of each color and 15 tips. Right. As simple as that. 
when I'm doing leafs, there's two different styles. One looks like a V and one looks like a W. Yep. So it depends on if you're looking more for a type of calla lily leaf or what, a rose leaf. I'll just put this one on here for now so we can do that. Normally I have like a ball of fondant. Uh, the reason why is when we're looking at this, and I put the cover on it. If I try to put an animal or something in here, they'll be sitting way down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. I usually put a ball of fondant on there so I can just put a blob of this uh, royal icing on here. So I say, well, I'm looking at this, and you're going to have yours. I'll start inside first, okay. and then I'll, I'll give you this one first, and then you can. Okay. Well, what I'm just going to do is create ooh, a leaf type background because, again, you want to decorate in colors. I'm not too fussy about how it's going to be. And then I'm going to look, ooh, what do I have for different ideas? Well, I'm going to steal this one from you. I'm going to put these over here. And I want things that are going to pop. Oh, that'll pop. Pink flowers. Let's go with the pink flowers because it's distance. You want to look at distance. Something far away should be smaller. Something uh, up front should be bigger. But I kind of like the pink colors on these. Oh, Maybe my throw goodness, in a, yeah. A blue. Mm. Come on. See? There you go. And put some flowers in there. Ooh, look at this little rose. Oh, no, too much. Sorry. No, I, that's how Oh, you, my goodness. Look at this one. I like this one. It's very colorful. Oh, I like that. The pansies. Oh, I like the pansies. So we have, we have a crazy garden. We just put everything grows in this garden. Oh, my goodness. I, see, the Even pinks weeds. are nice, but the pink kind of, like, goes too Yep, we have some too white. Much. Oh, yes. Huh. There's purple under there. This is the fun part, by the way. Yeah, and this is the part, if you do it ahead of time, you could more. sit with the kids, <gasps> oh. and they could have all, everybody has an egg. You have all these out. And we set that up there. Nice. Look at flowers. So like I says, I don't have a um, fondant right now. So what I'm going to just do is put a ball of the royal icing so it gives a little height to my animal oh. or whatever I decide to put on it. And I'll put that oh, back. I got the tip on mine, but I can do that for this with the tip, right? I just, yeah, I just took the tip off. You can do it okay. with the tip. Yeah. So let's do I this. I don't know. Hmm, what do I want to put in here that'll stick out? Again, it could be a, a swan. And this is, again, this could be a weekend project with your kids or grandkids that you make all yeah. the animals. And this is done with fondant. Again, it's all sugar. Uh, I don't think I want the pig. There's a pig, there's that. sheep, there's all kinds of little sheep there. Oh my goodness, there is. What is this? <laughs> that is a crazy duck. <laughs> Should yeah. I put, no, I don't want to put the crazy duck. Anything you want, anything you want on there. A penguin? They go. Now that one's a, another bird, angry bird, okay. like a white angry oh, bird. Oh, I'll put this little guy. There you go. And then you see how it looks. So you may find that you may have to bring it out a little bit. So that's what I'll probably bring out. So I can see what it looks like there. We well, can see mine. Yeah. yeah. See right there. There you go. That's good. And yeah. then take my green a little bit. I want to cover the white part. So it, unless it was water, sometimes we'll use blue. We'll have a, a, an array of colors. Well, especially but if it was a duck, right? Yeah. Jelly beans. My mother used to put jelly beans in them. Ooh. And then I just I like the small. get ready to glue it together. Oops. Sorry. Don't worry. You can you can add it to it later too. And to glue it together, I'm just putting a rim, not too thick, because I don't want it to squeeze out everywhere. See how nice and thick that royal icing is. Okay. A little rim. I'll close it tight and clean off my edges. Oh, that makes me. Whoops. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's coming right down the side. That's why you clean it off later, because that's what I already oh, did. Oh, there we go. Pull the little guy out here. Oh, thank you. It's teamwork. Okay. There you oh, go. That's all right. right. That'll still hold because we're going to put something on top of that later. Okay. Make sure my glue, even if I was gluing something, this would be me. Oh, I got the glue all over me. That's why I have a, a group of students who just follow me. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> They're like, oh, uh, Chef Cabral's demoing. That means 300 dishes. I'm like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yep, uh, that's right. Yep. And then just clean off anything that sticks out. 
So when you're looking at it, you can start seeing, oh, maybe I can add more on the edges. But I always want it to clean up nicely. So I'm just going to use my little rag here. Okay. This is my little base. I know it's going to go on later. But I want to do a nice little decoration. I can do simple dots all the way around. I can do a shell border, which is like I squeeze, I stop, and I pull. Squeeze, stop, pull. Okay. So it gives it a nice look. You can do simple dots, whatever you find, rosettes. Oh, and I start okay. about, I start about, I leave the bottom area somewhat empty because it's going to stick on here. Okay. So I give it about two inches and I'll just go along. That will also help seal any cracks because a lot of times these break and they have little cracks on them. And when we have the cracks, we can hide them with flowers. See, we are pushing it a little bit today by letting, you know, we could sit down and have another cup of coffee, a little snack, and it gives it more time bread. to... More bread. More bread. I'm just quickly. Because Portuguese, we're going to eat bread. Uh, Portuguese, we eat, just period. That's true. <laughs> Okay, all right, then I can. Oh, I like yours. Then we just, you know, I would let it sit for a little bit, and by letting it sit, it will hold a little bit more, but I think we can try, because it's nice and dry in here. I put a circle, enough to give it a circle nice of seal. Oil. Yeah, a nice little seal. That's why we didn't have to do the bottom. And that I would let dry. This is one that we did. I did it earlier so you can see that I can set it all up in different ways and you do it step by step. These, I think, give it more. It can squish out a little bit because that's what we cover later oh. on the bottom. More? Okay. Yeah. It can squish out. You, yep. yep. Because that? that's perfect. Because what we'll do is we can take the green <laughs> and create some leaves in there. Leaves are our thing to hide everything. Oh my goodness. See, so when you put that in there, you can hide any mistakes, cracks. I can stick a flower in there. Nobody will even know. I Is like it? that. I like the nobody will know part. Yep, nobody knows. I used to work in a bakery, and they used to charge by the roses. <laughs> I've heard that. Absolutely. Yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? Because they figure not too many people can do roses. Right. See, it hides all that white right there. Absolutely. I'm going to do that, too. Move my little bag down here. Look how easy that is. I mean, really. You can buy a lot of these things already online to work with the kids. You can, but it's, it's a memory. You can't take away the memories. That's the right. biggest part of things. If you um, can do that with your kids, your grandchildren, they'll remember this like forever. Yep. You may forget it someday, but they won't. Well, that's, how, that's why, like I said, I always remember it, be, my mother, because she did it with us, and my kids will remember it, and I continue the generation to the students, and, the, and it's funny, because when we put, post these, when every year the students do it, former students jump in and say, that was my best thing, that was, I remember this, blah, blah, blah. And you don't, you don't have to be perfect. Nope. It, it's, um, Everybody's at a different level. Right. But if you do it year to year, it'll get better. And the thing is, it's yours. You made it, it's yours. You decorated it. Oh, look at you. Look at her go. Yeah. Do the clean up the leaves edges. inside, though. We need a couple leaves here. It's funny, I'm very um, okay. symmetrical, and I try. Oh, everything's going to be. So I try match. not to be symmetrical because that's what gives it a little bit of look. Oh, no. You're right, but I always do that same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I have to, um, everything's got to match. Yeah, it makes it, it's just simpler, you know. Everybody, I used to have to sit there with the kids and give them, everybody gets the same amount of drink in a cup. You have three cookies, you have three cookies. You have this much, you have that. So it's in the same idea. Oh, absolutely, though, but you have to. So I would put something behind here to let it dry and get hard in that position, because as you'll see, it'll, it'll shift if you don't. Okay. And then we can put things to... 
look at mine. So if this is shifting down, we'll put something behind it to get hard, like mine, mine did too. Okay. But what I keep doing when I'm continuing these things, I'll make little ones. These are little plastic eggs. And we, you could put jelly beans in oh. them, because jelly beans will last forever. Uh, you can make mini ones. I just glue in a little bit of uh, ribbon. Do the same thing. Fill it with any type of animal I'd like to put in there. Oh my goodness, yes. I have to get some flowers. Yeah, put the flowers on there, put the greens. Let me see, what will I put in here? Let me do this one. This little white I'll one put some purple. Purple. No, blue. We need white back here because I, I think I'll stick a, a pig. If he fits in there. Oh, mm. that's cute. He'll fit in there, so. Again, that's, it's, it's like a game, you know? It's an adult playing like kids, and that's what we have to remember. You're also teaching people to continue traditions. Right. And, and you know what, like you said before, it's about family. Mm -hmm. And if you can continue to do this, it's just, it's fun. And you know what? It's a it trade. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's, um, and it's easy enough. It's inexpensive. Let's right. face it, sugar. Sugar and water. Yeah. It's creative. Uh, you know, the hardest part we have with the students now, because everything is so planned for them in life, yeah. That when you tell them you have to be creative and process, it's like a little meltdown. Yeah, they, but by they the, just don't know how to do it. Right. So that's sad. Because art classes aren't what I mean. I remember in high school. I was I went to high school. It was I took art five times a day because I was an art major. But they they don't give you credit for it. But well, it was, when we were in school, we also had home economics. Yep. You know they don't do that anymore. You know, then they got to the part where um, the girls could have shop. Yeah, they that was our that, year. Yeah, that was the greatest thing. You know, we get to make something with wood, you know, and then the guys went to cake decorating. So, but they missed all this. It's, it, it's sad, but it's not. You know, I did, I was, I was taking shop before they allowed it because I made a deal with the teachers. If I did their typing, they would let me do that. So I did wood and metal and I did Well, there we go. You got to be creative. So it's right. something. Just as something simple as that. We have all different types. These are the little, we have bunnies inside of here. These are the little things you can buy, uh, sweet tart candies. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. And, you and know, the kids love them. And they last forever because I'll buy them at the end of this season and stockpile them all the Yes, that's things. what hoarders do. Yeah, I know that's what hoarders do. But we always make an Easter egg tree. Penguins are all year long. They don't have to be in cold weather. They're no, because they're weather. cute, right? Right, right. And these, you know, simple things. As, this was just leftover royal icing. I kind of made it in a ball, rolled it in um, a coconut. little coconut yep. to give us lamb. So it's another hands-on thing. Yeah. And I always take anything leftover and create something so it'll get hard. As simple as all these little things. You can take little, you know, a, a four-year-old can make these. All you, yeah. You're teaching them squeezing. So it's all... Yep. Physical squeeze therapy. and pick it up. Squeeze, pick it up, squeeze, pick it up. And Absolutely. This is great therapy for people, you know, who need oh, to yeah. work with their hands. Um, yep. And then it's creativity, and then it's edible. Unless you don't want to eat it because it's too cute. <gasps> right? I love it. I love right. it. So this is our sugar eggs. Um, if you have any questions, please um, email me and. Um, we have anything else to make well, sure we're we tell No, what we're just, you know, just start getting to do these things. Uh, like I says, we can do a class on de cake decorating. Is If it's royal icing or frosting, it's the same techniques. One just gets harder than the other. Right. And then, as you see, there's an evolution. If you, when we show you the eggs, there's an evolution. Not all of them have to be cut. The rabbit is on top, molded. You know, we just, we're just creating out of whatever, year to year to year, they change. They could be all see-through, not see-through. Um, oh, absolutely. And if you save them, which you, you've got to be careful, you can have like every year bring it out and then, you know. Add to your collection. Yes. Um, I made this with my grandmother when I was eight. You know, I'm 38 now or, right. or whatever. You know, my grandmother's gone, but she showed me how to um, do this. And um, the light pink one is probably four years old. Um, the yellow ones are a couple years old. Uh, the newest ones are the little bunny on top, the bunnies that are sticking out, and the ones I just made. 
uh, I was experimenting with cutting out while it was still wet to keep cutting out and yep. to see. So I actually, I, if you can see inside there, you would see there's a whole thing inside, but that was like, oh, I should have left a window without a rabbit climbing out of it. But it was just being creative. Next year, I'm already planning for next year's because I've been teaching this every, like it's every year for, you know, a, a lot of time. years. <laughs> and a lot of years. <laughs> I want to always try to make it new, make it live, Absolutely. and make it fun. And as you can see, it, it looks fun. And it was fun. And it didn't take me so... Yes, the sugar was already set, but you'd want to, maybe you want to do the sugar eggs you one do. day and just say, okay, tomorrow we're going to do all the decorating. These eggs that I, we were demonstrating, the little ones, and I think this was last year's, um, I just have extras at the end. I use all the sugar up so they can, you know, they'll start yep. big and work away or else we'll be throwing away a lot of sugar. So I make them, and they'll last two, three, four, five years. Color may change a little bit, but that's normal for food coloring, but yeah, it'll be great. A lot of these will be used next year and the year after for decorating and demos. So it's just, it's, I can't express how much fun it is just to decorate yeah, and, and then make just things looking happen. at all the different ones, it's like, ooh, which one do I want? What flower yeah. do I want to use? That's and then you create a whole scene. You start creating scenes. And like, you know, Absolutely. everybody comes to the, you know, the, the crazy farm. You know, you bring your, has this one got eyes? All right. No, that one doesn't have eyes yet. <laughs> <laughs> but some as they do, they become, uh, they have, I they like be the little bunnies. They're so cute. Because nope. we would like everybody to have, you know, a part something. of this, from, something from Easter, something from your family, something to give your family. Oh, absolutely. And this is one of the projects. And it can last forever. Yep. Well, Gloria, I thank you. And you're, you're welcome. more than welcome to join me again. Maybe we can do something on Cuban oh, food. On Cuban food. Oh, my goodness. We can do that. Instapot arroz con pollo. <laughs> See, there we go. So 20 minutes, you got Cuban food. Yep, this um, third season, it's all about different countries. So we'll have Gloria back. Thank you for coming um, to my home. And put this on your family table.